start with, I just got off work, so I'm kind of tired. So this is going to be an interesting video. And two, when you get this freaking intake off of this freaking engine, also we're working on a time limit now because for some reason my engine hoist is falling very slowly. My engine used to be about up to here, and now it's down here, and I didn't lower it. So I'm going to tighten it up, jack it back up. We're going to try and get this intake off so we can get this wiring harness on so that we can put it back in the engine bay. Um, I'm probably only going to work for about an hour today, so this might um, be a couple days in one video. So if it looks like I changed my shirt or something like that, like it typically does, that's probably why. Um, I'm back from Idaho, um, and we're going to get busy because I want to get this damn thing running because I just ordered the last parts that I need. Um, on the way, I have to go pick up a new pilot bearing. I have to pick up, or on the way, is a new intake gasket, uh, or intake collector gasket. There's a new throttle body gasket, and new valve cover gasket so I can paint the valve covers. Because I know you guys want to see the valve covers painted just like I do. I don't know, I just, I just want to see them. I don't care what you guys think. Just kidding. All right, let's get this fucking valve cover off. I'm pretty sure I got all of the hoses, um, vacuum hoses, vacuum lines, whatever, um, all disconnected, and we're ready to pull the intake off. Um, there's quite a few, so if you do do this, make sure you go through, you make sure everything, you know where everything goes back, because I don't, if that makes sense. <laughs> um... I did leak out some coolant, so there's obviously a water jacket inside this intake. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I will inform you guys as soon as I know for sure, because I'm pretty sure this is a water outlet right here, because um, this seems like a pretty dense, either that or it's a uh, brake booster vacuum. Um, but I'll take the uh, intake off, I'll figure out exactly where the coolant comes from, and I will let you guys know. The collector at least. Ah. So this is how you're going to get to all of your injectors. Um, so rather than going down the line, they're going to come up and in between each and then connect. So this way it's a little bit more tucked, a little bit nicer looking. Um, and this way the wiring harness is down below rather than running across the top and it'll hide some of the wires. Also, while it's off, we can go ahead and replace all of this. Um, okay, that's just kind of there, but, God, I can't wait to get a Gretty intake, because that looks amazing. Do you guys agree? Like, if you agree that it looks better without the intake over the top, but we need to paint the valve covers. Yeah, don't forget to like the video, because of that, because that's fucking beautiful. The end of day number two, or day number one, sorry, I am tired, obviously. Um... The coolant lines that I was just telling you guys about. So, these right here I thought were vacuum lines. They're actually coolant lines. This is a radiator, um, like an old school radiator, uh, that goes inside the, cool in, inside the intake to cool down the intake. Um, and then it comes back up through here and back into the collector plenum. So I'm not sure how it flows, but I'm just going to make sure that it all goes back the way it's supposed to. Because these both go... Okay, um, so this one goes down and then into with the um, coolant hoses that go into the heater core. And then this one just goes into this uh, and then it comes out here. So I gotta figure out what is the exhaust, where it comes out. So it obviously comes in somewhere and goes out somewhere else. So I have to do a little bit of research and figure out where the fuck that is. So I'm glad I pulled this out and realized what that was. 
but let's just uh, enjoy. God, that looks good. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the wiring harness, um, and then I will get a or a fly or sorry, pilot bearing. I will get a pilot bearing tomorrow. I will put the pilot bearing in, and I will reinstall. I don't know if I'll reinstall the engine tomorrow or the next day, but it will get there. Um, another concern that I found was so. If you look, this is pretty silver, and it starts to get a little bit browner, and a little bit browner, and a little bit browner, and a little bit browner. So I don't know if the blow-by just um, hits this side more than it hits that side. Uh, I did notice there is uh, oil in the intake, but it's a lot of, it seems like it's just blow-by. Um, so I'm going to start looking into... Um, Catch cans, oil catch cans, so I can bypass all that so we don't get as much oil in there. But I also got a boost sensor, and let's see, what else did I get? So I got a boost sensor, a throttle body uh, gasket, and a intake collector gasket. And I also got a throttle cable adapter because 2AZXs are throttle linkage. So that's where we're at. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! So, day two. We're going, no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm not working tonight. I'm going to sleep tonight. I just got done ordering a new pilot bushing since I destroyed the last one from O'Reilly's. I could drive to the next, eh, I'm stuck. Jeep problems. Um, I could drive to the next auto parts store, but I don't feel like it. And so I'm not going to. And so I'm going to go home, uh, try and hook up some of the wiring harness, and then tomorrow I'll be back to pick up the pilot bushing. Um, I'll get a torque wrench so we can do the clutch, the flywheel, and then put the engine back in. Or we'll do the clutch and flywheel while the engine is inside, so this way it's bolted down. Because I also have to get bolts, longer bolts, uh, for the engine mount, to mount the engine to the engine mount because my engine side of the engine mounts are much thicker than I anticipated, so the bolts that I bought are too short. So I have to buy that. So, back to the garage. Um, just so you guys know, I did find where those coolant lines went. Um, so, to start off, there is the um, inlet um, that goes into the intake then there is this one that goes into the radiator that goes across here and then it comes out here and then it goes back into the intake and then it actually goes down below and goes into right here hold on let me turn on a light goes into right here so uh, now that I got that all figured out and know where all the coolant lines go that will make things tremendously easier um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and run my um, wiring harness up through here, uh, plug it into all these. I'm going to plug my sub harness in for my coil packs and see how awake I am. That might be the end of the video there, but who knows? We'll find out when the time comes. Alright, so first off, we're going to go ahead and attach the coil pack harness, the sub harness. Um, I'm taking a wild guess and assuming that it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six from front to back. Um, I could be wrong, but we'll find out when we go to install everything else because the fuel injectors are also set up one, two, three, or opposite. So I could go look at the uh, harnesses, other harness, and figure that out, but God knows I'm way too lazy to do that.
this is installed. I mean, it's super obvious, right? But no, really. Um, the old harness was very prominent and noticeable, whereas this one tucks very nicely, runs underneath the intake runners, and then just connects to everything since everything's pretty much right there on the electrical side. Uh, it comes up into the runners for all of your injectors. It's a little bit tight for your injector one, but I mean, there's plenty in there. Then there's your, uh, let me get these out of the way. Probably my phone battery is way too low to take videos now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, the wiring harness is installed. Just uh, have to install the um, intake when it, the intake casket comes in. I in install the boost controller, and that's about it. Ready to go back in the car. Um, like I said, Pilot bushing will be in tomorrow, so we can go ahead and push that pilot bushing out, and then put the new pilot bushing in, put clutch, flywheel, all that good shit in. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the more in-depth, a um, little bit more in-depth, I think. I don't know, I'll know when I edit it, but this is like three days, so I'll figure it out. Alright guys, well, stay sideways, and hopefully I get this damn thing running soon.